Hi guys, this is Anu from Skilling. Hope you are doing good. In this video, we are going to see the various job openings that a civil engineer can opt for and how Skilling courses help him to get placement in the specific domain. After completion, the student can either choose design domain or construction management domain. Let's see in detail what are the job roles for these profiles. In the design domain, the student can choose working on BIM roads or into the code design job. First, let's see about the building information modeling. As a BIM modeler or engineer, the person needs to be good in design and drafting skills. What does a BIM engineer do? BIM engineers normally work on projects in a cloud-based platform and identify for any clashes from the concept stage and coordinates through the completion of the project life cycle in various ways with different level of development. Next, let's see about the design engineer role. A career as a design engineer is all about transforming ideas into real. It offers the chance to complete creativity with engineering expertise. Structural engineers design, plan and oversee the construction of new buildings and bridges or alterations and extensions to existing properties or other structures. What does a structural engineer do? Structural engineers are primarily concerned with designing and constructing of buildings and other structures that are safe and capable to withstand the loads to which they will be exposed as well as improving the structural integrity of existing building. Design engineers are not only concerned with making the structure look good and are easy and safe to use. They are concerned with ensuring that the structure can be made cost effectively and efficiently. Key tasks of a design engineer are preparing reports for design and drawings, making calculations about loads and stresses, selecting appropriate construction materials, providing technical advice, managing projects, inspecting projects to check the condition and cost effective design. It can be very satisfying to have the chance to see something you have had a part in become a reality. Next, let's see about construction management. In construction management domain, there are different streams that a person can opt for a job either as a site engineer or quality analyst or QC engineer, estimation engineer, planning engineer and health and safety engineer. What does a site engineer do? Site engineers provide technical advice and manage parts of a construction project providing technical advice and supervising the staff on site and ensuring that their packages are completed on time and within the budget. The key tasks of the jobs include managing parts of the construction project, overseeing the building work, undertaking surveys, setting out sites, checking technical designs and drawings to ensure they are found correctly as per the requirement, supervising the contracted staff, ensuring project packages meet agreed specifications, budgets and time scale, licensing with clients, subcontractors and other professional staff, especially quantity surveyors and reports to the project manager. They have to provide technical advice and solve problems on site. They should prepare site reports, licensed with quantity surveyors about the ordering and pricing of the materials. Site engineers work out on the construction site in all weathers and tend to work on one project at a time. Site engineers applicants are more attractive to recruiters if they have some experience within the construction industry. Now let's see about the role of a QAQC engineer. Quality checking engineers involves in checking the quality of materials used for construction. They do check for the quality of concrete used for construction by few site tests like slum cone test, flow table test, etc. Once they feel the quality of the concrete mix is not up to the design requirement, they have the right to stop the concreting that is about to happen. They do check the reinforcement before concreting to ensure the details followed are as per the good for construction drawings received. Now let's see about the role of the estimation engineer. An estimator is hired to estimate the cost and amount of materials, labor and equipment needed to complete the construction work. Estimators are responsible for estimating the cost of a planned construction project in terms of labor, 
equipment and materials required. They typically work for construction contractors that build the project and are also involved in the pre-construction phase of the project. That is at the tendering stage in which the construction company bids for the work stating at what price and to what time scale it could complete. An estimator's typical responsibilities include analyzing bills of quantities and other project documentation in order to estimate the cost researching, sourcing and negotiating and obtaining the best price and quotes from suppliers and subcontractors, analyzing data that can affect the cost, assessing the financial, technical and operational risks of the project, visiting project sites to gather information, staying aware of the latest construction technologies, keeping up to date with the latest regulatory and legislative requirements. Working closely with key members of the project team such as bid manager and licensing with clients and suppliers. Next, let's see about the planning engineer. The main job role of a planner is to plan the project within the scheduled time frame. The job responsibilities for planners include overseeing property developments in advance on making empty plots of land to fully operational buildings advising clients and colleagues about the developments that can be made, licensing with architects, builders, engineers and other construction professionals, visiting the property site in order to keep track of the developments, communicating and meeting with clients and colleagues. Next, let's see about the health and safety engineer. The job of a health and safety engineer is to make sure that working environments compile with legislation. Every single workplace and sector need to adhere to a certain level of health and safety. If working in areas such as construction, not wearing the correct hard hat and clothing, it's the health and safety officer who has to sort it out and make sure it doesn't happen again. Graduates working in health and safety lies with the other departments, line managers and the organization's senior management to ensure compliance with health and safety legislation. They also monitor staff in the workplace, run educational training, run risk assessments, provide training tools, monitor contractors, run audits and workplace inspections, keep on top of current legislations. The role is vital in the organization, especially in high risk sectors such as construction and engineering. You will be making sure you stop accidents from ever happening. These are some of these job roles in the civil engineering domain. We at Skilling are offering master's program to meet the market demand. The master's program are master's certification program in high-rise building design and analysis, master's certification program in industrial structures, master's program in bridge design and analysis, master's program in steel structures, master's program in precast, pre-stressed and concrete structures for bridges and buildings, Master's program in StatPro for RCC, industrial buildings and Metro Viadex. Master's program in ETAPS and SAFE software for RCC, composite and precast buildings. Master's certification in buildings, engineering design and project management. Master's certification program in infrastructure, engineering design and project management. In the upcoming videos, I will explain about the master's program in detail. Upskill your knowledge with Skilling.